Okay, here it goes. So today is a sunny, brilliant day and I received this brilliant product called Go Go Bird from a company called Han Wang. So apparently I'm one of the few uh, privileged person who have been chosen to review this product ahead of the crowdfunding campaign. So what this is, is a robot shape of an eagle that could fly like a drone up to half an hour with two lithium battery combined. Each lithium battery is about 450 milliamp per hour and the actual weight of this unit is about 155 gram uh, including the lithium battery itself so it has a hovering mode as well and a smart flying mode so it has all these clever uh, functions that I'm really looking forward to actually play around with so um, pretty lightweight and um, I was a bit surprised when it arrived but I'm really excited to see how well it could perform in real life so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes all we need to do is take this out and pull it up and what we have is wow this is incredibly light like a sponge but it's in fact it's not sponge um, it's like a special sort of weaving kind of looking uh, material actually but um, we got the suitcase kind of feel and um, let's actually Open it up. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. It's like a suitcase, proper 007 kind of feel. And um, we got the quick start guide. We got the main eagle sort of body. That is really, really cool. Um, and also the wing back oh i see so it's like a robotic sort of joints in the back um the remote control which is quite cool actually it's like a playstation kind of feel on the front button and um, all these fancy sort of four uh, buttons on the front and the back um so the hand one uh, lithium battery and the charger uh, so i guess it actually slots in this way and um, that's pretty much it on this side. So if we were to go onto the top, um, there's this cover, which I could just take it out. Not sure if this is in use, but wow, we've got the wing here. Um, so you could attach it to the body and some sort of a instruction um and so on user manual actually so uh that's pretty much it so let's get into the assembly okay so according to the instruction manual uh you need to put in those two tiny uh, screws to the back uh, wing flap should i say and those two for the main wing okay so let's get on to that okay so that should technically go here that click sound and that one should go there and lastly just need to put this in here with the screw on of course it comes with their own screwdriver so that fits well and on the back side what you need to do is um, whether you can see that plastic thing that flaps needs to fit just right there so the long screw could go in okay Pretty obvious, but you actually search around to see where the uh, screw can get in. So you fit in these uh, screw into top and bottom. Okay. And lastly, um, make sure you don't tangle the wire, but um, you gently push it in uh, so that this top bit would be screwed and it's all good to go. So the way you change or insert your battery is you press that and you pull it out and you will see inside a um, 450 milliamp hour lithium battery. Uh, so all you need to do is charge it and then put it and that's it. 
Yeah, but before that, I would like to highlight this hole here. Um, I'm starting to get... I'm not sure whether this is actually aerodynamic purpose, but there's some clip here and some holes. So we might actually end up seeing a camera that is being insert, inserted here. So it looks really interesting. All right, so you need two AAA batteries to start on this. And this is the on button. And there are these fancy buttons here. There's a speaker there. And there's all these sounds as well. Oh, I see this is a um, adjustment of the sound. And um, I think the rest I have to work on. But let's actually turn on the Eagle itself. Cool. Remote control connected successfully. Okay, so it says remote control successfully. Okay, I think this is the button, so moment of truth. Here it goes. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. I see, so you gotta press the middle button to trigger it. And that's the landing, okay. So there, the way how to trigger it is you press the button and then you um, move it around, okay? <laughs> nice eagle sound as well, brilliant. Okay, so what I've learned is you press that button and then the wing will flap and if you press it again, it will be on the landing mode. That's why you just saw the wing actually flapping less and then it slows down, okay? Um, and then this is the direction button, left, right, forward and back, I think. So if I were to press left, right, left, right, not sure whether the front or back is going to work, but we'll find that out anyway. So that's just to give you the overall view of how the control works. So let's press it again, shall we? Oh dear. That was very scary. Okay, so let's try it on a real life. Okay. This one is return mode, so I would advise when it's high up, you press it. And this is a circling around, but I, I, basically what I learned is, if you actually flap it up, it means that the wing's gonna fl fly higher, so 
because it moves faster if you actually pull it down it's going to slow down so you, that's how you adjust height left right you know what's happening so it's left is left right is right okay so let's try it again Look at that, this is so cool, brilliant. So I actually had so much fun with this GoGo uh, -Go Bird Eagle and um, once, you once you actually toss it to the air, it will automatically adjust the height for you and also on the speaker it will tell you what sort of height it is and if you want to adjust it obviously you press it up and uh, wing flap goes faster and then it will go up and if you press it down the wing flap goes less uh, and then it will just go down steadily and so on and um, unfortunately I didn't have much, enough time to do the um, return mode or the circulation mode but this, it was quite cool when I pressed the circulation mode as you have seen it was circling around and really rapidly falling down for some reason maybe I was pressing the wrong button at the time um, but anyhow it, it, despite the heavy drop you can see only uh, damage I can see I don't even consider it damage actually it's the color of the grass in front of the beak and um, all cool but um, this is actually a, an attention uh, grabber I would say a lot of people who are passing by on the park were approaching me saying hey what is this and like funny enough it was very unusual but because it was a windy day one guy uh, on a kite he actually approached me as well and we had a decent conversation and so on and I told um, many of them that this is going to be available on Kickstarter so um, yeah they, they seem quite excited as well about this upcoming news and so on but anyhow when you actually fly it and you kind of you actually your brain is telling that wow that looks like an eagle real eagle flying around but can, am I controlling it? That's what your brain actually questions you. Then when you actually turn it left and right, because it's nearing to a tree, and when it moves, it's like, ah, your brain is saying, oh, I see. 
it, you're, control, you're the one who's controlling it and so on. It was quite an eerie feeling um, overall. Um, but what I thought about, um, I don't know whether Hanvon team or Gogobird team actually thought about or maybe they're on a research project on this one is that why not have a voice command? That would be quite cool. Say, hey, come here. And it would be like, Whoosh. or a stem and so on because I think that's a trend at the moment with technology and so on, isn't it? But anyhow, also uh, holding this up while wearing your backpack, wondering about, it kind of felt like a fashion item as well somehow people a lot of people will look at you but overall i'm actually giving a lot of credits that you will certainly um a lot of people will look at you for doing this fun thing to fly your own eagle and so on i have so much fun about it and um, i wish i could do more but uh, time was running out and so on but anyhow i hope this video clarified what this uh gogo bird is about and it's a fantastic product. I love it. And I look forward to fly it again very soon, possibly tomorrow or this weekend with my family members and so on. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you with your queries. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.